Good morning from HQ, people. Keep it nice and quiet. A few of the wieners starting to line up for a look now. Calm just now. What we've got 30 40 mile an hour forecast later for the day. The rain will come back. Oh, nice. The big birds are having the bath. All the super good in the hood. Have a little wander out, cherubs. You know you want to have a look. Oh, it's Laurel. And the one in the corner's Hardy, I think. Scruffy out you come. No, nope, I don't look. That'll do for today, thank you. Now, is that we hide? Is that McCooley? not the most forward are coming out. Baby YBs, the Marmite. You either love them or hate them. But they're definitely a necessary evil. I particularly love them, so I'm very fortunate. Perfect, look at that. The big birds are the scatter. And all five cherubs sat still. Better run back in, kids. That's what we want. There's bound to be at least one up there. But once I've got these checked out. Good work, kids. Five out. Suitably spooked. And thinking of running back in. Now we need to see if anything went up in the air. My lordy. That's it, you've still not had enough. I'm coming back up for more. That's it, boys. Just you pop in. That'll be fine. Oh. Doesn't look like a cherub up there, but it might be. Babies up there. No, I think blind light they should be as old as. Don't see any twiddly wound going on anyway. Oh, it's exciting times. Excitement. Too exciting for an old man to cope with. Oh, still in response to all the drama. There's another one coming for a look. <laughs> Twirly woos! Oh, steady lads, steady, steady, steady. We're airborne, we're airborne. That's it, you're airborne. That's it, that's all you got to do. Find your way back to the door. Check. Come on, Hardy. Let's go. Check. Again. Papi's going to bed. Film this just in case I think we might have an aerial wiener. Look at the one with the scraggy tail, that's it there. We have a wiener. <laughs> right, as I've said on numerous occasions, don't confuse the natural system with easy, but one of the benefits you get is if you school your wieners with your old birds. 
He's got less of a chance of flying off. Can't quite pick him up now, but... There is a wiener. There he is. There's a straggly tail. First time up. But he's got, what, two, four, six adults with him. So the chances of him flying off are less. Here he's there. That is a wiener. First time in the air. And all he's got to do is land like the big boys did. Now I've got to shit myself for a few seconds till I find out where he is. Come on, Bobbins, land. First fully airborne wiener. Yep, good boy, set up there. Go on, land. Oh, come on. I, well, I believe because he went up with the oldies, he's already got half the plan sorted out. Sorry, McQuilly, I've not been very fair to you. You've only just broke the back of it as well, have you? Come on, you. And in true Wiener style, he'll be sitting up a tree somewhere, which is okay. And 20 minutes later, following a successful maiden flight to check out the sky, the trees, the bushes, everything, our first truly airborne wiener is back. And it will be a completely different bird tomorrow. We'll call that a success. Oh my god, I <laughs> think it's Lindsay's on the O25 ring. <laughs> oh, the story just gets better. Well done, little cherub. Daddy's Baba now. <laughs> right, I need to go to my bed. Got to go to work tonight. Take care, Towers. Hope that was of interest to you and kept you titillated. Bye for now.